conditions if it was to start anytime soon that's where it would be a very stable weather conditions in terms of the conditions out on track so you would be able to get faster and faster as the race progressed you'd be able to understand where the grip is that's it. that makes it very different but uh, you can see there for the GRT Yamaha squad just how much rain did come down everyone absolutely soaked in their pit box nobody ever likes a delayed start but uh, I tell you what, we, we've wished for this, haven't we, Steve? So we can't complain about it now. And let's hope we do get a, a wet race in an extra little bit of spice. Yeah, well, we've had spice all the way through the season. And uh, you can see there for Garrett Gerloff relaxed in his pit box. And uh, number 31 Yamaha getting ready for a second row with a great start. His best qualifying effort since Estoril earlier in the season. So uh, certainly for Gerloff, good to see him able to have that turn of speed all the way through this weekend and uh, hopefully we're able to see him sign off his season with a few good results but uh, these conditions total lottery at this stage so we'll just have to wait and see when the new race start will be announced but uh, you can see the rain still really hammering down at this point kind of weather we used to see in, in places like malaysia and so on it's this part of the world isn't it when it comes down it comes down heavily uh, speaking to our colleagues who came to the circuit much in advance of the round to to prepare uh, everything behind the scenes in order for this race to take place of course it's only the second weekend since this circuit was inaugurated uh, let alone uh, raced on this the first uh, race weekend here and they were all saying i tell you what when it rained it rained for 24 hours and you're practically getting Noah's Ark out. Yeah, and uh, certainly they'll go two by two uh, on the way back into the pit boxes, but uh, for all the riders and the teams, this is where it becomes a real challenge because you do need to keep calm, you do need to keep cool, you do need to make sure that uh, you're ready to go at a moment's notice. But as it is right now, it's certainly going to be quite a while. Looking out of our commentary box onto the starting grid, there's a huge amount of standing water down there now. When we see the uh, pictures uh, away from the circuit and we see the palm trees and so on, it, it looks like one of those classic images that you're used to seeing on the, uh, on the one o'clock news, doesn't it? Yeah, and uh, I think Michael Fish might have been around <laughs> as well, just to give the weather forecast. He's but, swimming uh, out there. It's uh, definitely going to be a case for...